The day you were born, God chose you to be his partner. Yes, a partner indeed. Because the day you were born, God said the world can no longer exist without you. And God personally chose a specific soul and gave it to you for a specific purpose. There are no two people that are alike. Every person that is created that was born is endowed with a specific mission that only they can accomplish that. We are each unique. Unique to be a partner with God. Unique to be in a very beautiful partnership. Have you ever considered that? Have you ever pondered and realized that you when you never asked to be born, you didn't ask to become alive. It wasn't our choice. You and I did not choose to come to this world. God chose. Yes, you are the chosen. You were chosen by God because God needed you to be his partner. You are a partner in creation. You don't have to be a person of faith. You don't have to be religious. You just have to be aware that you came to this world not just by happenstance, by accident. You came to this world in purpose because God needs you to be his partner. This partnership all began 3,300 years ago on Mount Sinai. Until that moment, there were two separate worlds. There was heaven and there was earth. But there was no connection between the two. Heaven was heaven. That's where spirituality and holiness is. And earth is where everything materialistic and physical. And there were two separate worlds. Comes this one day, God merges both worlds. He brings heaven down to earth. When he does that, he introduces a partnership. And he says as follows, as it's recorded in the Bible, that you will be to me a nation, and I will be to you a God. And that is the partnership that was sealed at that moment. And that's when he gave us the Ten Commandments, and that's when he gave us the Bible, the Torah, and these are the laws that has kept society functioning for 3,300 years. The partnership is an equal partnership. Just like in any partnership, we are equal partners. The same thing. God is an equal partner with us. God is spiritual. We are physical. We do the physical part of God. And God does the spiritual part. So God gives us life. God sustains us. God keeps us alive. God gives us this beautiful earth to live in. He gives us food. He gives us water. He gives us oxygen. God does his part of his partnership. He's providing us all the means that we need. Now we have our responsibility to do our part of the partnership. So what is our job? What is our part of the partnership? It's no secret. Open up the Bible and read through what God wants us to do in this world. Is to be ambassadors of goodness and kindness. What God wants us to do in this world is to look after his creatures. Look after mankind. Look after the animal kingdom. Look after the plants. Be the guardians of this beautiful world that God gave us. And that could only happen through love, unconditional love, respect, and embracing each other for who they are. If we can only realize and appreciate how we are all created by God, but God created each one of us unique because each one of us has our unique talents to accomplish our partnership. And this is one of the greatest opportunities that we don't really know what talents we actually have until we reveal them.
We need to unlock and unleash the beautiful talents that God gives us. Sometimes we don't even know what our talents are. One great rabbi said, the biggest sin of mankind is if you don't use the talents that God gave you. Yes, God gave us each talents. And you will discover as you grow in life what your talents are. When you discover your talents, everyone has a talent of some sort. Utilize it for making this world a better place. Because our journey in this world is such a short journey. Up until 120 years, we bless everyone should live 120 years. But during this time, let's utilize every moment that we have alive to do good for others, to make this world a spiritual place, to make this world a welcoming world that where the divine providence can rest. And just like in any partnership, it grows stronger and stronger with time. When we were kids, we used to become best friends. And the way we would express our best friends is we would actually cut our fingers and mix our blood together. And that's how we knew that we were best friends. It's a covenant that we would do. What do you need a covenant for? Because right now we're best friends. But what happens if something gets in between of us? We want to make sure that we will remember that no matter what, we're always going to be together. No matter what. That is the relationship we have with God. God made with us a covenant. That covenant is there so that even if we may go astray, even if our relationship may have soured for whatever reason, we'll never forget our covenant that we are truly bonded and connected with each other. We are truly partners, partners in making this world a better place. And to know that God Almighty is a trustworthy partner who will never abandon you, he'll never forsake you. God will always be there for you. And he would be so proud of you when you accomplish your part of your responsibility that he will be so rewarding to you and that he would strengthen this partnership. And that is our journey in life. So when we wake up in the morning, we say, thank you, God, for giving me another day. And I'm so grateful to become your partner. And I'm so excited to be a partner because I know that whatever I do, you are doing it with me. And we are going to be partners from the moment I emerge with my first breath of life till my last breath of life. And even in the afterlife, you will be my partner. God bless you. God loves you.